In this video, we're going to learn how to play the chords to Can't You See by the Marshall Tucker Band. We're going to look at the best fingerings, thumb, elbow, and wrist movements for you so you can play this cleanly and easily. Hey everyone, Rod DeGeorge here, and welcome to my beginner guitar series, Easy Guitar Songs. Today, Can't You See by the Marshall Tucker Band. Now this whole song is only three chords all the way through. Okay, now they do some more intricate picking and adding some D sus4, sus2, stuff like that, and some little fills, but we're not going to get into those right now as this is a beginner lesson. We're going to look at three chords that we can strum along all the way through with the song to help develop our timing and getting the changes down. So, basically, what we have is D, C add 9. G, back to D, and it starts over again, D, C add 9, G, D. Now, like I said, they're adding some sus fours. And they also do little, little fills like that but we're not going to get into that. Once you get these down, you can try to add some of that. But what we're doing is the D and then to the C add nine. Now this C add nine, the way they're playing it, they're not using their pinky on the first string, third fret, like you may be used to. They're letting that high E open. So what makes up a C add nine chord is C, E, G, and D. So this first string, we could either play the G or the E, the third fret or the open. So what they're doing is they're leaving that open. Now they do hit that and uh, like... So they're doing stuff like that, adding those fills. So they're playing both notes. But if we're just strumming the chord, they don't do that every time. So if we're just strumming the chords, we'll probably just do D, then the C add 9 without the pinky. We add the pinky then for the G, then back to the D. Now if you notice, with the left hand, your third finger never moves from that second string third fret, from that D note. Now what we do when we go from the D chord, we do drop that thumb a little bit to bring these knuckles out in front to make it easier to reach that. And we do that movement first. We don't try to reach the fingers up without moving because it may not ring out as clear. All right? So we bring these knuckles out in front. And then for the G, we may have to angle these a little more. You could actually do that a little bit in, on that C add nine as well, okay? But if you do it too much, it pulls that third finger down and you may also get this, muting that first string. So bring the thumb down a little bit, these knuckles out front to make that change, add the pinky and bring this down and you can actually angle that a little more for the G, okay? So now let's take a quick look at the strumming. Now they're doing some picking and everything like that and the whole band comes in, things can vary, but a good strumming that will work nicely with this would be like this. So we're going one, two, and a, e, and four, and a one, two, and a, e, and four, and a down, 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 up, up, down, down. Okay, so let's look at that a little slower. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. One, two, and a, e, and four, and a one, two, and a, e, and four, and a one, two, and a, e, and four, and a one, two, and a, e, and four. Now, if you're asking yourself, what the heck is he saying, E-A, and all that, 
basically this is a 16th note strumming pattern. We're dividing uh, the beat up into four equal parts. So it's going to be one E and A. Ah. So each beat would be one E and A, uh, two E and A, uh, three E and A. Uh. Now if we played straight 16th notes, okay, but we're not doing straight 16th notes, but we are using that 16th note feel. So one, two and A, uh, E and four and A. Uh. Now in the beginning, this may be a little tricky for you to count out and everything. So you may want to just try to feel it out with the down and up strokes. So again, one, I'm sorry, with down and up strokes. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just muting the strings and getting the feel of that right hand. Now when you get the feel of that right hand, you want to keep that moving and when you have those two upstrokes, down, 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 up, up, when you have those two upstrokes back to back, you're still doing a downstroke in between, you're just not hitting the strings. We want to keep this pick hand moving smoothly. I've said it in videos before, if you watch me play without the volume, it's going to look like I'm just doing down and upstrokes, straight down and upstrokes. Okay, but when we do this, you want to keep that moving. So again, it would be Now those are the chords for the entire song. Now there's uh, some flute parts, some uh, lead guitar parts and that, but the rhythm guitar part is just those three chords all the way through. So hopefully you enjoyed that and found it helpful. I'd also like to let you know that I do have a free lesson for switching chords quickly and easily down in the description box below. Just click the link and it's yours absolutely free. Also, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button, and YouTube will let you know when I release a new video. That being said, I'm Rod DeGeorge. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Enjoy your day. Peace.